Okay. Okay, what do you have to say? You're Professor Oak's aide. Oh, hello, Gordo. How are you doing? It's one of Professor Oak's aides. Did you mean the other aide? It's a package from Professor Oak for you, Gordo. That he'd be looking on that to you, Gordo. You're on that to you, yeah. Please go look for Okay, he's talking about Flash. So, yeah. But I need 10 Pokemon to get the HM05 Flash, which we need later on, which we don't need. We don't need it later on for Rock Tunnel, because we can go through Rock Tunnel by hugging the walls and stuff, but it's really, um, it's really, um, you know, recommended, really, if you want to get through Rock Tunnel and get everything and stuff, and see a clear path, because you don't get a little circle of light, you know, around your character if you don't have Flash. So, yeah. Okay. So, let's see here, let's see here, um, let's sell some stuff actually, some stuff cluttering in my bag, so let's go sell, um, sell the star piece, okay, that's, that made me, that made me have max money again, so I guess that's good enough, okay. That's all we had. This looks like gonna have max money. It's no point. There's no point in some more stuff to get over max money because we can't get over max money. Um, my Pokedex. I have seven, right? Eight. I need to catch two Pokemon real quick. So let me do that. I'll show this, by the way, too. Why not? We actually catching some Pokemon on screen, baby. It's an Ekans. Cool. Um. Well, let's see. I guess so. We can it down. That's not gonna do much. Well, it could do enough to catch it, actually. Thank you for using the wind instead of poison sting Ekans. World Ekans, I should say. Which is now Volt Seed. I'm gonna use some um, stun spawn it after, that, after this, I think. There we go, we get a whittle down, you know. There we go, Paris is doing a good job looking down that Ekans. And yeah. Okay, so we're on us again. I'm gonna use Stun Spoil, I guess now. The goat hits. And Ekans is paralyzed. Now let's get a bag. Got Pokeballs. 35 Pokeballs, of course. Yeah, I use some of them, I guess, now. Be good for a Pokedex. One, two, three. Look, okay, cool. We caught an Ekans. Nice. And Ekans, sure, why not? Let's, um, let's, I'm gonna just name this Ekans Snake from um, Metal Gear Solid Snake. The mo modern age snake, is, I should say, if I were to guess. The one named, also named, known as David, that snake. Most all the snakes are named as David too, that's a good one. I'm just gonna get the snake. There we go. Yeah, catch another Pokemon. That'll make us have 10 Pokemon. You need 10 Pokemon to get the HMO5 flash from the Pokemon. That's the right, as he was saying before. You just run from this battle. Run, thank you. <laughs> Got my D-pad a little weird too. My thumbs are too big for the D-pad on the game controller right now. Um, yeah. I run into different Pokemon other than Ekans or Sparrow because we already caught Ekans or Sparrow. Can't escape, can't escape again. Poison Sting on us. And I poisoned us, uh, Poison Paris. It's not good. Okay, good. Gotta yeah, find a Pokemon fast before, a new Pokemon fast before, you know, Paris faints, you know, because Paris is our go to um, Pokemon for getting down Pokemon. Um, how much does, how much will a cut do? Just out of curiosity. Okay, so I can only do another cut. Hopefully, I don't get another critical hit, but hopefully, yeah. Don't cut, no cuts, no cuts, no cuts, good. Okay, Paris might be going down here. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to um, Thunder and use Thunder Wave on it to paralyze the Strazi. That's female level 13. And Thunder Wave. There we go. 
much hypnosis, but missed. Good, thank, thank goodness. Um, let's go for the Pokeball, I guess. We have two great balls and 34 Pokeballs. Not 33 Pokeballs, but you get what I mean. One, two, three. And we caught a Drowsy, nice. Hmm, a few more Drowsies. Name this. I don't know if this will fit, but we can try. I'm gonna name it Miss Sleepy, but I don't know if it'll fit. Um, sleep. It may fit, I don't know. Fits, yeah, it just barely fits. I'm gonna name this Jazzy Miss Sleepy. Miss Sleepy has been to the Pokemon Center, the Pokemon PC box, or whatever. That's cool. So I'm gonna go back and heal real quick, but then we'll cover Nugget, not Nugget, but um, Diglett's Cave real quick. And usually, as I said before, I usually cover Diglett Cave before I do the gym, but I decided to switch it up, I guess. Why not? Just to make sure we could get through this gym and this whole live stream session, that'd be nice. So yeah. There you go. Nice. Okay. Nice. go awesome here's the goat's cave what up for now you think it's still a parasite right? yeah i do okay okay i'm gonna just wait i need repels in fact i think there's dug trios up to like level 31 in this cave my highest level is like level 22 what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna switch i'll see up to um the front slot because so like pokemon the diglets are Dug diglets basically because duck trees are like level 31 in this cave or 28 or around 26 in this cave but they're like 5% appearance rate and then diglets are 95% appearance rate so you're most likely most likely gonna run into more diglets than duck trios of course because the appearance rate is a big difference between diglets and duck trios but um chelsea will repel diglets on uh 20 level 21 and under so I know there's like a level, I think level 15 is the lowest level for Diglett in this cave, if I were to guess, based on my experiences with Diglett Cave and just noticing stuff like that. So I'm going to put a Pell on, and hopefully we won't get too many Diglett encounters, and we might get Doug Trio encounter. Most likely if it's an encounter, it'll probably be from a Doug Trio, level 31 or so, level 26 to 31. But yeah, Doug Trios are really high level for at this point of the game, especially when you can first access the Diglett Cave at this point. Pell off, let's put another Pell on. So I just don't want to run into wild encounters right now because I don't want really to really worry about the Diglets and Duck Trios. I can, you know, avoid them at all costs. Or... Okay, we didn't run into a single Dug Diglet Duck Trio at th that time. Maybe on the way back, but you never know. So here we are. If we cut down the tree right here, um, we can cut down the tree, of course. And um, we can, you know, we're back in P2C that way then. But um, there's the there's a pole going off, but that's also in the way looking back to Peter City. But that's like, um, as I said before, when we first entered Cerulean City, that was like the f it was gonna be a while till we get back to Mount Moon, but that's how we can get back to Mount Moon. Is there an item here? I think there is. Where is it? I can't find it. There's an item. Oh well, I'll just skip out on it. I don't really mind if I don't get it. Um, yeah. But here's, um, if you're into Pokemon and just has no energy left to battle, you can still use moves like cut outside of battle. So, like, if your Pokemon's fainted, you can still use HM moves like fly or cut or flash to get you to the part of the place you want, or if you want to fly to the place you want still. Protect this guy, he's looking for a Pokemon Abra, which I can trade it for Mr. Mime. This Mr. Mime will be the exact same level as your, um, Abra that you trade for him. So, like, if I trade, like, a level, like, a level 14 Abra, or, um, he's Mr. Mime, and the Mime, this Mr. Mime will be level 14 as well, and its nickname will be Mimean, but, um, oh, oh well, sorry, I just don't have an Abra right now, but, like, that's just a trade I could show off for during the series, I guess, if I wanted to, I mean, I might as well trade off, just because, like, the trading system for, um, the Leaf Green Fire Red looks really cool with the Game Boy Advances everywhere, and the, uh, connect, Game Boy, um, can, uh, connect cables or trading cables or whatnot, they look cool, I'm gonna use Cut right here, 
and let's hop over these couple ledges and go in this little transitional building. What do you have to say? Get to you. Uh, once your Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through Rock Tunnel. Yeah, that's what that's what I hope to do. But, uh, make one of my Pokemon learn Flash. Hi, I'm me. I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. Your Pokemon has complete data of 10 species. I'm supposed to give you a reward. Oh, Professor Oak entrusted me with HMO5 for you. So, Gordon, let me ask you, have you gathered data on at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? Great, you've got on own 10 kinds of Pokemon, exactly. Congratulations, here you go. We get TM or HMO5, which is Flash. Awesome. Flash lights up even the darkest of caves and dungeons. Good to know. If you continue through that, this transition building goes south some way. You can get some items. Cool. There's an ether, which is very worth picking up. And here's a, a paralysis heal. But yeah.